Hey there, thanks for joining us. Be sure to watch this entire video as we guarantee it will be worth your time. Mark Dwayne here from markdwayne.com and this is my Talking Faces review. And before we go into the members area of Talking Faces, I wanted to show you exactly what Talking Faces does. And what Talking Faces does is it creates these Humitar mascots that you put on your website that are designed to get you more leads, sales, and commissions. And Talking Faces is actually a combination of three different programs that's been launched in the past. And one is called Video Pal by Sid Dwar and Paul Pana. And the other one is called the Human Synthesis Studio by Todd Gross. And the other one is called Synthesis. And Synthesis is the text-to-speech engine that they use. And it's like the number one text-to-speech engine on the market. So you got a combination of three powerful programs all wrapped into one. And I'm going to show you a demo of what this sounds like. So then you can have an accurate view of what this program sounds like. Um, now, I want you to bear in mind that this could be tweaked out a little bit to make it sound better, but it's just for demo purposes, so bear that in mind. So I'm going to play this now, and then I'll be back. Create your own custom-looking Humitar and overlay them as spokespeople. You can also use our human characters to create more custom human characters for any need. Simply overlay them over any web page with opt-in forms, buttons, and more. Now I'm going to play that again so you can have an accurate view of what it sounds like. So I'm going to play it again. Create your own custom-looking Humitar and overlay them as spokespeople. You can also use our human characters to create more custom human characters for any need. Simply overlay them over any web page with opt-in forms, buttons, and more. Okay, this is the button. If I click that, it's going to take me back to my website. But you could use this for affiliate links. You could use it for your own offers. You can send it just about anywhere you want, any web page. You can send it to a YouTube video. And you can also uh, put opt-in forms here to capture leads. So I want you to be aware of that. So I'm going to click here and it'll take me back to my website. There again, you could use it for uh, affiliate offers or your own product or send them to your YouTube channel or your Facebook page, wherever you want to send them to. But anyway, that is a basic example of talking faces. And now we're going to move on into the members area so you can see what talking faces, how we can create a, a talking faces humitar. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, now we're into the members area of talking faces. And talking faces is an upgrade to two other programs. One is called Synthesis. That's where they get the text to speech engine from. And the other is called Human Synthesis Studio. And that allowed you to put the humitars inside a video. And then you have the upgraded version, which is Talking Faces, which allows you to put the humitars on any web page. And you can get access to creating the humitars by either clicking this button here or by clicking the drop down here. And you got these options here. And here's the training. And this is the place that I recommend that you start. So I'm going to push that. And you have a number of different training videos to choose from. And I highly recommend that you watch these, even though Talking Faces is super simple to set up. And if you have a problem, you have a support ticket, you just push here, you can submit a ticket. And then here's where you can get access to the upgrades, or you can purchase the upgrades, even though I always recommend that you go through the funnel, because then you get access to the downsells and the discounts. And here's where you got your profile settings. Well, anyway, First place that I recommend that you start after the training is you go here to select a talking face. And you have a number of different talking faces to choose from. Now I might have more because I have the upgrades. So these are the different ones you have to choose from. And I'm going to choose this guy here, but you can uh, preview him. preview I'm here or you can create video and I'm just going to push create video and then you need to name your talking face and I'm just going to call it review demo 
And then you got full body and you got circle. Full body circle. See that? And down here you got the previews and you can select the uh, emotion. Now, even though they no preview, he's still moving. Even though when you create the humitar, he'll be moving, even though he's not moving now. And then you got confident. Then you got act now. Then you got waving hand. Okay, we're going to go with no preview. And then you got different options here. You got call to action, you got countdown timer, and you got controls. Okay, in the call to action, you got uh, where you can do a button or you can do an email form. This is where you can add some different options here. Aweber, MailChimp, or import code. I always do best with the HTML code. But anyway, I'm going to collect a button, submit a button. And then we're going to go access now. And then I'm going to put a link in here, the Talking Faces webinar. And I like the color blue. This is a background color here. You can change it. Then the text to be white and then the light border for the uh, back uh, button. I want it to be a light blue. And you can see the what it looks like up here. If I scroll down more, then you got different options here. Playback controls, load video immediately, timer on exit. And then you can change the position of the button. Uh, bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right. And you also got a countdown timer if you want one. Different options on here. And controls, this is where you can change play uh, video if possible. Auto close after playing, some different options here. You also got the other options down here, but I'm just gonna go with the call to action and leave all the other for, this is just for demo purposes anyway. So anyway, the first thing you need to do is choose a, a, a voice. So you got these different voices to choose from and you do have other languages. You got a number of them to choose from. If I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video. And I like this one here, and this is how you uh, can preview the video or preview the voice. This is a demo of the voice you have selected. Make sure to click the play script button below the script box before you generate your video. Let's we'll play this one here. This is a demo of the voice you have selected. Make sure to click the play script button below the script box before you generate your video. This is a demo of the voice you have selected. Make sure to click the play script button below the script box before you generate your video. Well, I like this one here. And you need to check this box here. I agree to the terms and conditions. And then you gotta have some script. So I've got some on a notepad. I'm going to copy this. And you just paste it in here. And then you push play script. And it allows you 2,000 characters. Talking Faces by Synthesis allows you to create your own custom looking humitars. Overlay as a spokesperson over any web page. Click the button below to gain access to Talking Faces by Synthesis and locking your discount. What I was trying to say is that it allows you uh, 2,000 characters. I've only used 223 characters, but you can change the speed because I think he speaks a little fast. I'll just play it again. Talking Faces by Synthesis allows you to create your own custom looking humitars. Overlay as a spokesperson over any web page. Click the button below to gain access to Talking Faces by Synthesis and locking your discount. Now you can adjust the speed. I think he talks just a titch fast. So I'm going to turn it down. Okay, now I got it set for 95. I'm going to play the script again.
Talking Faces by Synthesis allows you to create your own custom-looking Humatars. Overlay as a spokesperson over any web page. Click the button below to gain access to Talking Faces by Synthesis and lock in your discount. Okay, I think that sounds better. It's just a little slower and it sounds, uh, it just sounds better to me. So after you're happy with it, and it might take some tweaking on your part, is uh, you just push create. And this is going to take a little bit for it to uh, render. So I'm going to fade out and then I'm going to come back and go through the rest of the demonstration. Okay, I'm back and he's done rendering. And the one thing about talking faces so far that I've seen is the render time really is not that long. It doesn't take that long to render. I've seen some other programs where it takes a really long time to render. With this program, it doesn't take it very long to render. So far, I haven't seen that problem. So anyway, um, this is the one that we created. I've created some other ones. This is where I was kind of learning how to use the program. But anyway, um, you can uh, preview the uh, Humatar by pushing this button here. You can see the one that I created, and I'm going to go ahead and play him so you can hear what he sounds like. Talking Faces by Synthesis allows you to create your own custom-looking Humatars. Overlay as a spokesperson over any web page. Click the button below to gain access to Talking Faces by Synthesis and lock in your discount. I'm going to play it again. Talking Faces by Synthesis allows you to create your own custom-looking Humatars. Overlay as a spokesperson over any web page. Click the button below to gain access to Talking Faces by Synthesis and lock in your discount. Now, you can put this guy over any web page. You put it inside the head tag. And I'm going to show you how to do that, although it's probably in the training videos. So... I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that, but I highly recommend that you look at the training to learn how to do that for your website, or if you have a web developer that does your uh, websites for you, um, he will know how to do this. It's really simple. But anyway, if I click this button, it's going to take me to the um, Talking Faces webinar sign up. Okay, you can see it's the registration page. So I'll go back to the members area. And there are a number of different options that are kind of hidden here that you don't see. Um, you can delete the uh, Humatar right here. You can duplicate it. Okay, you can preview it. And then you can edit it. Um, you can also get the URL by clicking this button here. And I'm going to go to my home page so you can see something here. Okay, I use a WordPress blog for my home page. So I'm going to visit the site. And you can see that I put a Humatar on my website. Okay. And anyway, I'm going to go back to the members area. And you can see that this is a different Humatar than the one I have on my website. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the instant URL settings. Okay. And then you need to copy this code to clipboard. Okay. You, you copy that code to clipboard. And then I'm going to go back to my website. And I'm going to go into the dashboard. Now this is for WordPress. Then I'm going to go to the settings, and I got insert uh, headers and footers. Now, this is a plugin you'll have to download. You have WordPress, and you just simply I'm going to go down here. This is the header part, and I'm going to get rid of the um, code that I put in here earlier, and then I'm going to take this code and I'll paste it in there. And you'll see that it changes. I'm going to scroll down and save. And then I'm going to preview the website again. And you can see that he changed. Okay. This changed. And in order to do that onto a, like an HTML site, you can open up a notepad. And this is my bonus page for Talking Faces. 
and you just scroll down. You'll find the code. I think put it at the top. I might have. Yeah, th here it is here. I'm going to take this code right here, and I'm going to get rid of it because that same Umatar is on this web page here, my bonus page, and I'll show you more what I'm talking about here in a second. So I save, then I go to my FTP server, and this is the page that I just saved it on. Then I upload. And then here's my bonus page. You can see that he's on there now. This is the one that I had on there before. Now I'm going to refresh the page. And you can see that he changed. So anyway, I just showed you two ways for that you can put the humitars or the Talking Faces humitars inside your web page. Now I'm going to go back to the members area. And you can change the faces on these. And you can make them unique. And here's one I created earlier, even though it's still got the um, same uh, humitar on here like these. But if I push this for a preview, it'll show you that it does do it in a foreign language. It also shows you that you can change these. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. So if I play this. Bonjour ou bonsoir à toutes et à tous. Je suis Xavier Voluisant et je suis ici, au bas de cette page, pour vous présenter le tout nouveau logiciel Talking Faces. Cet outil va vous permettre de générer des humatars que vous pourrez placer sur vos sites et blogs, modifier et personnaliser leur visage avec vos propres traits et leur faire dire absolument ce que vous voulez. Découvrez tous les détails sur cette page dès maintenant. OK, you can see that it does have foreign language and you can see that it does change to different um, custom humatars. So anyway, in order to change the faces, you go to uh, Reface. And you can change the faces on the different um, humatars. I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to change that one. We'll change this one here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change the face on this one. And what you do is you look by, I'm going to go male, and then age, let's go young adult, adult, elderly, I'm going to go adult, and then I'm going to choose a face here, or you can also add an image. And I'm just going to go ahead and let me see, choose this one here. And all regions. Now you want it to be, well, I guess you got some more options here. You can go for white. You can go for Latino. Asian. Black. I'm just going to go for white. And I'm going to change the one that I chose earlier. Maybe I'll go with Latino. Let me see. I'm having a little trouble deciding here which one I want to use. Got some quite a few options here. No, not that. Asian. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to go for white and I'm going to go ahead and choose this guy here. So anyway, you can also add images. I don't know if I said that earlier. And then you push uh, render. And you can see the face swap is over here. So anyway, let me see. Uh, you got two face swaps. We changed the face swap. It says it's going to take 29 minutes. But anyway, it's basically the same process. You just wait and then it will change the face even though it has the same face up here in the preview it will have a different face so i just wanted to show you you have that option 
So if this looks like something that you're interested in and you're interested in my handpicked bonuses, all you got to do is click the link down below this video, go to my bonus page, push the button on my bonus page, purchase the program, then you'll get access to Talking Faces and my handpicked bonuses. And if you like my videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, push that notification bell and make a comment. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Mark Dwayne here from markdwayne.com and here we are into the members area of Video Robot and I'm a real user of Video Robot. Um, we're in the members area here and before we go into the demonstration I want to show you a couple of examples uh, because I use Video Robot. I have a bowling channel and a bowling blog and I use Video Robot in my YouTube channel. It's called the Bowling News Network. And I kind of use it for like launch jacking and bowling. Uh, so whenever a new bowling ball comes out, I make a quick little uh, video robot review to uh, or just tell them about this new bowling ball. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples. You can do more advanced stuff with video robot, but these are just basic little uh, videos that explain the different information about the bowling ball. And... Um, Anyway, that's just one way you can use Video Robot. I do recommend that if you want to make longer videos that you get the agency uh, version because on the uh, front end you can only make shorter videos. So if you want to make a little longer videos and you want to get uh, 1080p, you need to get the agency upgrade. Just a little tip there. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you these demos. There's just going to be two of them. They're, they're really similar. They're just two different bowling balls, and you can do more advanced stuff, like I said. But I'm going to show you those now, and then I'll be back. Storm Bowling announces the new Storm Dark Coat. The research lab at Storm has been busy and discovered a unique coverstock by combining two proven coverstocks into one. The coverstock on the Storm Dark Coat is a combination of the R2S and the next coverstocks to create the Rex Pearl Reactive Coverstock, also known as the Reactor Extreme. This coverstock along with the RAD4 core provides the ideal amount of mid-lane roll and back-end reaction as well as awesome pin carry. This ball has something to offer any style of bowler. The release date for the new Storm Dark Coat is June 18, 2021. Pre-order yours today in the links below. IBC Youth cancels 2020-2021 USA Bowling Regional Tournament events. The International Bowling Campus Youth Development Team has canceled the events on the 2020-2021 USA Bowling Regional Tournament schedule due to ongoing public health concerns and local regulations surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, those were a couple of examples of Video Robot. I know they're short little videos, but they... Uh fit my needs. Um, you can do more advanced stuff with Video Robot. And anyway, um, we're in the members area here. And the first place that I recommend that you start is in the video tutorials. And I have all the upgrades. So anyway, um, I recommend that you start here, video tutorials. They got more information on the uh, members area here. I just want to show you that. But anyway, I recommend you start here and here's some other stuff you get with video uh, robot video robot enterprise it depends on what version you have what upgrade you got you scroll down here and here's the uh, videos I recommend you watch these videos but I'm not going to play this video but I am going to play this video I'm going to scroll down more so you can see all the videos goes through it in pretty good detail but I got uh, upgrades like I said I got all the upgrades um, if you want to do longer videos I do recommend that you get the agency version then and, and there's quite a few um, different uh, training videos here so I'm going to scroll back up here <clears throat>
Okay, this video here. I'm going to play this video. Now, it is quite long. It's about 16 minutes long. So I'm going to play that, and then I'll be back. Now, to do that, we start the simple wizard by clicking Create Video. Now, here we are in step one. Choose type of video. We have three different options, either a 3D avatar template, kinetic, or whiteboard template. We'll go into these more in other videos. We're going to choose blank canvas. This leaves us wide open to do anything we like. We click next, and now we're on step two, choose an actor. Now we have a bunch of avatars. We have female avatars. We have green screen. Here we can upload a green screen video at the background automatically removed so our actor is seamlessly integrated into our video. We also have the option to just click next and have no actor at all. It might be useful in a custom whiteboard or explainer video where we don't need a character. But let's just pick an avatar and go on to the next step. Step three, choose a voice and music. We have three different options, text-to-speech, record audio, and media library. Now text-to-speech, anything that we type into this box will be spoken by the computer. You can see we have the option of male and female voices. Let's play one. Hello. My name is Matthew. You can pick sample. me as your text is. We also have the choice of all kinds of languages. They can do automatic translation. So if we were to pick Spanish, type something in, in English, click the auto translate button, import. Let's play this. Hola, ¿qué tal? That's pretty cool. We could do record audio. This lets us record from our PC's microphone right from within the browser. We could do media library. And here we can upload a file that we've either made in another program or had someone make for us. Let's go back to text to speech. We can choose background music. This will play underneath our video. We just turn it on and choose a file from our library. Turn them back off, and next step. Personalize video. Now here, we can include a logo, put it in the corner of our video. Here I've uploaded our little video robot icon. We can either put it on the left or right. So we can put either our company logo, or the person we're making the video for, we can put their logo in the corner of the video. We can add a background, this can either be an image, or it can be a motion video. Upload our file. Grab an image. And next step. Step five, preview and edit. Now here is where we can take a look at our final video, make any tweaks that we'd like. Then we can create our video. Now this is a pretty simple project here. I didn't really add anything to it. So let me load something a little bit more interesting. And I'm back. I've loaded one of our 3D avatar templates. This one is for childcare. You can see under content, we have a bunch of different elements now. These are all of the different effects and pictures and music and sounds that make up our video. Over here on the left, elements, this is where we add them. In the middle, we have our preview, our play button, and our timeline. Now, this is a live preview. If I hit play, looking for a it's local child care in the browser. service to care for your son or daughter. Now I've paused it, and we can make edits on the fly. Let's say we want to edit this effect right here, looking for a child care service. We find it on the side. We click on it. If we see in the timeline, this is the effect. There's the start point, the end point. We can click on this 
drag it, make it either longer or shorter. We can edit it, and we get a little pop-up. Here we can change the text, looking for a local child care service. So we just want to say looking for child care service. We want this to be red. We can hit preview, see how it's coming along. That looks okay. So we want this to be, there we go. Apply. Now we can jump back, move my playhead back. Looking for a local child care service to care for your son or daughter while you're at work? In if the so, you've come to the right place. Our Keep child playing. care staff our is next fully effect. trained, qualified. We can also move items. So here's this year of experience. Find it here. We use this next option, resize and move. And we can see the effect right here. Click it. You can move it. And apply. We can also resize items. Here's some company contact information. If we thought this was too big, it's contact information. We can click in the corner and shrink it down. We can also make it even bigger. Move it around and apply. There we go. Keep playing. Staff member has been through extensive background checks and prides themselves on focusing on your child above everything else. So contact us. Now we can also completely remove and replace effects. So now we didn't like this contact us race, effect here. And contact us now. We can hit delete. It's gone. Now we want to add our own new effect. We can get that under elements. We make sure our playhead's in the right spot. It's going to add the effect wherever our playhead is. We're going to add a text effect. And this opens up the gallery of all the effects. See, we get a preview of each effect as we hover. We get a little instant view here. We can also hit play, a little bit bigger view. Let's find an effect. So we like this one. Click on it. Okay. Now it's in our timeline. Now we're going to edit this. So let's create amazing avatars. We don't want that. We click edit. Contact us today. And colors look okay, but we should probably change this one. A yellow. See how that looks? Looks pretty good. Apply. Jump back. Play. Inquire about rates, schedule, and availability. We look forward to fulfilling all of your child care needs. And let's move this over a little bit. Inquire about rates, schedule, and availability. We look forward we to fulfilling all. And let's make it start a little bit earlier. Just by dragging the start point closer in the timeline. Us now to inquire about rates, schedule, and availability. We look we forward go. to fulfilling all of. So we've taken our project. We've edited a couple of the effects. We've replaced the effects. We've moved some of the effects around. We can even move around the avatar if we wanted. What are some of the other things we can do? Well, if we come over to our toolbox under elements, we can add in media, either a video or an image into our project. We can add in just plain old text. Click. Change the font. Change the color, make it bold, submit. And availability. We look forward to fulfilling all Sharp of your child care needs. 
We have different kinds of effects. We have the lower thirds that appear in the bottom. We have our text animations. Text effects. Whiteboard effects. All these work the same. Get the previews. Now a special option are intros and outros. This will add a little introduction to our video and an outro. Let's add an intro to our video. It starts up a little wizard. We have a bunch of intro effects. Let's add a logo to the opening of our video. This looks nice. Let's choose this one. Now we can customize it just like the other ones. Change all the colors. Pick our logo. Next, now we have the option to pick a background to appear behind our intro. I'll just grab a random image here. This could be a video too, motion video. And we can have some music to appear. We hit done. And it inserts that intro at the beginning of our video. So if we go to the beginning, hit play. Looking and then it's for into a local video. And we can edit these items the same way we could for everything else. Come down, click on this. And change the text, colors, or logo. Now, outros work the same. For example, we can send people off to our Facebook page, our Twitter. A bunch of links. Let's just say Facebook. And give us like our Facebook page here. Same idea. We've got our background. We don't really need a background for this one. Some music. Use the same track. And this one gets added to the end of our video. And there we go. And now one final note about the editor. The order of these items appear in contents also decides what appears on top of other items. So for example, we have our contact information. For example here, let's just move this over. It's on top of the guy. Apply. And you can see it's behind him. That's because contact information is on a lower level than our actor. And of course the background is on the lowest level. If we were to click this, drag it. Now it goes background actor contact and it appears above. So we can do that for any effects. We want to make them appear front or behind of other items. Now let's create our video. Just hit create movie. We give it our title. Choose the size, the format, MP4 is good in most cases here, and submit. We're taken to our My Videos page. Here's our movie, it's being created. We got a little hourglass, that means it's pending. We give it a few seconds here. And now you can see it's working. If we click on this, we can see the progress as it works through all the different steps. Step one, 6%. Let's close this. As soon as it's done, we get a little thumbnail. You see, I have a couple of videos that are already finished here. Videos can be played. A little if preview. you're in need of a dentist. We can download them so we can upload them. We can edit them. This lets us go back into the wizard, make an adjustment, or we can delete them. And that's it, that's everything to create a video. While we're here, let me just show you the last couple items available in the app. 
we click the logo, we can go back to the news page, keep up with the latest updates on the app. We already know about create, home, my videos, check on our progress, our media library. Here we can manage the files that we've been uploading. We can delete them. Upload more. We can check our purchases, see what upgrades we have, access their pages. We can learn about upgrades we don't have yet. We have a link to the tutorials in the members area and a support link. Here, we click on our account. We can go into our profile, update our password, name. And now in the next videos, we'll be taking a closer look at those specific types of templates that we have built into the app. Kinetic, 3D avatar, whiteboard. I'll see you there. Okay, that was the demo video by the vendor, and I think he explains how to use this program pretty good. But I'm briefly going to run through how I do one of my videos here. It's just a short little video, but I'm going to show you how I do that. And first thing you do is you push create video. But before I do that, you got different options. You got home, my video, uh, media library, and my purchases. Uh, and so you just push create video and then you choose the different templates that you choose. And then I'm going to use a, a blank canvas. Next step. And I'm going to choose an avatar. Got all these avatars to choose from. And there's quite a, a number of them. There's seven pages of them. So I'm just going to do something a little different so you know it's... We'll just do this guy, this guy here, okay? You can preview him. Okay, we'll just choose him, and then you go to next. It's real simple to use. And this is where you can choose the different sound or different languages. Get all these languages to choose from. And here you can choose the different voices. You can play to hear how they sound. Hello, my name is Adrian. You can pick me as your text-to-speech human-like voice engine for your video avatar. And you can hear this guy. Hello, my name is Andrew. You can like pick me him. as your text. Hello, my name is Benjamin. You can pick me as your text. Hello, my name is Guy. You can... Hello, my name is Henry. You can pick me as your text. Hello. My name is Joey. You can pick me. Hello. My name is Justin. You can pick me as your text-to-speech. Hello. My name is Liam. You can pick me as your text-to-speech human like... I know these, uh... Hello. My name is Matthew. You can pick me as your text-to-speech human-like voice engine for your video avatar. Hold on. I, I know uh, a lot of people say they, they sound robotic, but if you pick the right one, it's not so bad. And they're getting a lot better at this. Um, it does work. Um, so I got a dog training channel, and I've made uh, dog training, uh, dog crate reviews, and I make sales to this day. It's called Dog Training USA, and I use this text-to-speech engine when it first came out. I'm not making the dog crate reviews anymore, uh, but I still make sales on it. It's evergreen. I make sales on that channel just about every day. So this text-to-speech does work. I know that some people don't like it, but it does work. So anyway, let's find a guy here. We'll just use Matthew. And then uh, I'm going to paste in some script that I uh, use and... The one thing you want to do is get this code. It's called speak. Because it doesn't come with it. And then it's got speak break time at the bottom. This right here. You need to get that code because it puts a little pause at the end. But anyway, this is what it's going to sound like. We import speech. Storm Bulling announces the new Storm Dark Code. The research lab at Storm has been busy and discovered a unique cover stock by combining two proven cover stocks into one. 
The cover stock on the Storm Dark Coat is a combination of the R2S and the next cover stocks to create the Rex Pearl Reactive Cover Stock, also known as the Reactor Extreme. This cover stock along with the RAD 4 Court provides the ideal amount of mid-lane roll and backhand reaction as well as awesome pin carry. This ball has something to offer any style of bowler. The release date for the new Storm Dark Coat is June 18th, 2021. Pre-order yours today in the links below. Hello, my name is Guy. You can pick me as your text-to-speech human-like voice engine for your video avatar. Storm Bowling announces The new Storm Dark Code The research lab at Storm has been busy and discovered a unique cover stock by combining two proven cover stocks into one. The cover stock on the Storm Dark Code is a combination of the R2S and the next cover stocks to create the Rex Pearl Reactive Cover Stock also known as the Reactor Extreme. This cover stock along with the R84 core provides the ideal amount of mid-lane roll and back-end reaction as well as awesome pin carry. This ball has something to offer any style of bowler. The release date for the new Storm Dark Coat is June 18th, 2021. Pre-order yours today in the links below. Well, I'm going to go ahead and choose that that guy. So anyway, and then we'll go to the next step. This is where you add a logo. And I've got different images uh, uploaded. These are the images that I got uploaded. I'm going to go back. Let's see, where's my logo? Okay, here's my logo, the Bowling News Network. Okay. Um, okay, this is the background. Depending on what I'm going to use it for. I usually, I've been using this background here. I'm just going to use it again because it works. I mean, I, you can upload more. You can see the dog crate, uh, the dog crates I got on there for dog crate reviews. <laughs> So anyway, and then you, once you forget your logo and your uh, background, you just push next. You can position these guys, um, but you got to make sure you push the button here. Here's the actor. And then you have to push this button here, resize. You can change the size. Position him. Background. Oh, that's going to change the background. I didn't want to do that. Close. Um, I the one thing I got to remember is I forget this sometimes, and I just forgot it there. Is when you get this guy positioned. Okay, you might want to position him over here. That's what I have been doing with my bowling ball things. Is you push apply. Okay, so otherwise it won't save. I always forget to do that. That's my bad. And then the the logo. Let's see, let's play. Storm Bowling announces the new Storm Dark Code. The research lab at... Okay, I need to add a, an image for the Dark Code bowling ball. So I go to My Media, go all the way back. Here's the Dark Code. Okay, we add that. Play. That store. Okay, I got to resize that and change where it's at. This is what these buttons are for. I want it to start at the beginning and we want to edit. We don't want to edit the video of that. I get confused on these buttons sometimes. And you just put it over here. This is what I've been doing. You can do more advanced stuff with this. But I'm... Once you get one, you can just edit it. Depends on what you're going to use it for. I want to put that up here a little bit farther. Then we go back to play here. Oh, I forgot to. I do, I do that all the time. That's my bad. It's not the program's bad. And then I push the wrong button. You gotta when you move it, you have to push a pl apply. I and mean, I'm used to just moving it and let it go. You gotta make sure you push apply, otherwise it don't stay. Storm Bowling announces the new Storm Dark Code. 
The research lab at Storm has been busy and discovered a unique cover stock by combining two proven cover stocks into one. The cover stock on the Storm Dark Coat is a combination of the R2S and the next cover stocks to create the Rex Pearl Reactive Cover Stock, also known as the Reactor Extreme. This cover stock along with the R84 core provides the ideal amount of mid-lane roll and back-end reaction as well as awesome pin carry. This ball has something to offer any style of bowler. The release date for the new Storm Dark Coat is June 18th, 2021. Pre-order yours today in the links below. Okay, well, this is just a rough draft of a, a video, but you can add text on here. Okay. I'm not going to add the text, but you can move it around. You can add text. That's where I push. Click the link below. And then you can do an intro. Choose an animation, an animation or a start wizard. Choose an animation. And choose these different animations. Okay, you got different ones to choose from. You got quite a few of them. And I'm not going to play them all. That's what they basically are. Okay, intro, outro. Choose an animation. Add these different animations on here. I use this one quite often. Sign up now. Works pretty good. Got these different ones you can put on there. A lower third, you got these. You see how you'll be able to fill in this information here to fit your needs. So if you got to a spot where you wanted to uh, have it slide in and say something, call to action or whatever, you could uh, put those in there. So lower third, text animation, animation. Yeah, it's text animation. You got these to choose from. Quite a number of them. Show you an example of those. I think he went through a lot of this different stuff in the uh, demo, but just to show you that I have the product, I wanted to go through this. You just choose it. And you, once you choose one, you can edit the text. It's, it's kind of like uh, the lower one-third lower thirds that's kind of what it's like in a way text effect it's the same type of thing you can change all this stuff you got all these to choose from I'm not gonna play them all but I'm just showing you what they are and then you got whiteboard It's kind of like uh, doodle, like here. Use those, there's quite a few of them. So anyway, that's a brief rundown. And when you get ready to render the video, you just push create video. You gotta name the video. I'm just gonna call it test one and see i you, you, in the uh front end you don't you only get 720p in the upgrade you get um 1080p so i'm going to change 1080p and then you can create a social media gif with this and anyway um you just push create video and it takes it a while to render i'm going to let it render when it's done then i'll be back and you can see the final video Okay, the uh, video is done and it's rendered now. So I'm just going to show you what the final looks like. Now, you got to remember, this is just a rough draft, something I just kind of threw together. Uh, you can do more advanced stuff with this, as I showed you in the uh, different uh, options you had to create the videos with. But anyway, um, I'll just play this so you can see it and hear it and everything. Storm Bowling announces... The new Storm Dark Code. The research lab at Storm has been busy and discovered a unique cover stock by combining two proven cover stocks into one.
The cover stock on the Storm Dark Coat is a combination of the R2S and the next cover stocks to create the Rex Pearl Reactive Cover Stock, also known as the Reactor Extreme. This cover stock along with the R84 core provides the ideal amount of mid lane roll and back end reaction as well as awesome pin carry. This ball has something to offer any style of bowler. The release date for the new Storm Dark Coat is June 18th, 2021. Pre-order yours today in the links below. Okay, that was just a basic example of what you can do with Video Robot. And I do make sales with this uh, technology. So, anyway, if it looks like something that you're interested in, and you're interested in my hand-picked bonuses, all you got to do is click a link somewhere on this page, go to my bonus page, press the button on my bonus page, purchase the program, then you'll get access to uh, Video Robot and my hand-picked bonuses. And if you like my videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, push that notification bell, and make a comment. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. So, if you want to get the best possible deal, please check out the link below.